Candlelight vigils were held from London to New York this week in memory of prominent Egyptian LGBT activist Sarah Hagazi. The 30-year-old was jailed in October 2017 for raising the LGBT flag at the concert of a Lebanese rock band whose lead singer is openly gay. She later sought asylum in Canada, where she was found dead in her Toronto apartment earlier this week. She'd been in exile for about 18 months and struggling with depression, one of her lawyers said on Monday. Friend and lawyer Mostafa Fouad says the hateful messages she received ever since were what drove her to her death. She worried more about her friends than she did about herself. She loved life, she loved life a lot, and she still committed suicide. But what caused all this to happen was the pain she experienced over the past three years. A huge amount of hate no human could bear. She would tell me about the messages she would get on Facebook and Instagram from people who hated her ideologies and who disliked her just because she is different. Although homosexuality is not a crime in Egypt, discrimination against the LGBT community is rife. Hagazi was the only woman arrested in a three-week anti-gay crackdown by authorities, where she was detained for promoting sexual deviancy and debauchery, a charge she denied. Fuad says despite the hate which took her life, Hagazi always believed in the power of love. In her letters from jail and the diary entries she wrote in prison, she used to say the world will only change through love. No matter how much they hate me or hate people like me, but no matter how much they hate anyone who is different, still the only thing that will change the world is love and coexistence. Earlier this week, a landmark Supreme Court ruling marked a step forward for LGBT rights in the United States. The LGBT rights activists acknowledge the discrimination many still face on the basis of sexual orientation and have taken to both the Internet and the streets during Pride Month to pay tribute to Hagazi's legacy, including a vigil held just outside the Stonewall Inn in New York.